Hey guys, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and I had a thought. I need to charge one of these 12 volt batteries. That's a 9 amp hour battery, has a cycle usage of 14.4 to 15 volts, standby of 13.5 to 13.8, and I don't have a charger that will charge at a low enough amperage to do that, so I thought. I have this solar controller here, and it's just a standard cheapo 10 buck uh, solar charge controller. I have a schematic sheet for it. It's a SS1203A solar controller, and it's rated for 12 volts, no more than 3 amps. Uh, maximum photovoltaic watts is 36 watts. Uh, it's got overcharge protection. 14.4 volts, which means that's going to be the highest that it will charge it. It'll charge it all the way up to 14.4 volts and then shut off to protect the battery from overcharging. It also has discharge protection, so if it gets below 11.1 .1 volts, it will uh, shut the uh, controller off and uh, won't allow power back into the into the feed. and it'll shut itself on off if we run it all the way up to 16 volts. So what I'm going to try is I have a this battery. This battery is currently at 12 and a half volts. So it's definitely low. It's practically a dead battery right now. And I'm going to screw this in where the uh, solar panel goes. And we're going to use like a, a wall wart style power supply and try to give it some power and see what it does. I have a power adapter that is 14.4 volts, 1000 milliamps, so that's one amp. And we're going to wire this in and see if that works. Got everything wired up now. We have this going into where the solar panel would normally go on that socket. I have a small light connected to the, you know, the power source from the controller. And then for the batteries, I have the battery come up here. I'm going to plug this in without the other, anything coming from the solar. And you can see there's power out here with the green light. You also see that there's uh, the lights on down here. I should have the 12 and a half volts going through that. Yeah, 12 and a half volts. And now we'll uh, plug in our 14.4 volt power supply or yeah power lead. Plugging that at the wall here. Well, we didn't release a blue smoke monster, so we know we're doing all right. You can see the uh, indicator to say it's charging has lit up. It's charging, it has power out. We can check the voltage again here. And slightly more voltage as the battery builds. You can see over here, I'll uh, touch it to the battery. And 13, you know, slowly climbing as the battery's charging up. And it's charging up with the light on it. So you can actually have a power source off of here with a switch, or if you need to run something continuously, you, know, you can have a solar panel or a wall power hooked to it at low voltage. It'll come in here and it'll charge this while it's running whatever accessory you have as long as the charging like if you know this is probably like a maybe a tenth of an amp and I have one amp going into it so it will more than run this light and charge the battery at the same time it's already up back up to 13.6 volts and I'm fairly confident it's going to charge this uh, battery all the way up. I've done this with uh, 
a solar panel on it with uh, this exact battery, and it charges up pretty good, pretty darn fast too. So we'll come back to this in a little while, and once it's already all the way charged up, you know, we'll take a look at it and see what the cutage, uh, cutoff voltage was. But I have a feeling this is going to work out as a little, you know, impromptu solar charger. Uh, because basically it's going to do the same thing that a battery charger would do. It's going to get up to a certain voltage and it's going to stop sending power to it. That way it doesn't overcharge. And if I hooked one of these power supplies directly to it, it would just keep charging and charging. It would go up above whatever voltage it's at and it would eventually burn up the battery. So this is providing that little protection. And since it's only a one amp charger, I can use it on small batteries like this because you can't hook this to like your standard uh, automotive car charger or anything like that or it will just completely burn it up. So I hope you found this uh, interesting or possibly useful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe.